Okay, so we're going to discuss a new concept in this video called uh, conditional expectation. And this really uh, is a perfect continuation of the uh, video on uh, the memorylessness of the exponential distribution that we saw in the previous video. Uh, so, uh, in the previous video, what we saw is that uh, the conditional pro the probability that x is gr that uh, the uh, ra if well, let me do do this properly. If we have some abstract probability space here, and we have a random variable mapping it onto the uh, positive real numbers. 0 to plus infinity, and uh, x is exponentially distributed with parameter lambda, uh, then we saw that the probability that x is greater than or equal to s plus t, given that x uh, is greater than or equal to s, so the probability that if you are at time s, that you are going to have to wait uh, more, than, uh, uh, more than t minutes from now uh, for your phone call is exactly the same as if you were at time zero and you were asking how, uh, uh, how likely is it that I'm going to ask, have to wait uh, t minutes for my phone call. If we imagine that this is the, uh, this is this abstract probability space is, you know, the outcomes of waiting for a phone call. Okay, uh, so uh, now what we want to do is explore the concept of conditional expectation. So, if we look at this probability space, uh, this uh, this stat, this probability space with elements, well, with outcomes in the real numbers. So we've got zero, uh, well, the positive real numbers here. Uh, then we could. Uh, we've already seen that we can, you know, we can say, uh, let's have a look at the event um, s to plus infinity, and in this problem it was all about saying let's condition on this event having happened. So let's say this event now here, this event that x is greater than or equal to s uh, within the whole probability space here, we're now going to call that the new probability space. So we're going to make our probability space smaller and just study this probability space here. And we, uh, you know, we define uh, new events on there and we define uh, a new probability measure on there. Okay, uh, so what we could do is we could ask what is the expected value of the uh, random variable just on this uh, probability space. So this probability space here, this uh, event here has a corresponding event back here. So if we limit our attention to this uh, this set which is mapped onto here and we consider that our new random variable, i.e. we have just a random variable going from this bit to this bit, we ignore this bit and this bit, uh, then what is the expected value of that random variable? And that's the concept of conditional expectation. We are asking what is the expected value given that you are I that you are um, that you are just considering an, uh, a subset of your original probability space. So what is the expected value of x given that the event that x is greater than or equal to s has occurred? So this is the event that x is greater than or equal to s, and we're asking what is the expected value of x given that uh, x is greater than or equal to s in this case. Uh, so how would we go about uh, calculating that? Well, uh, what we do is we go about exactly the same way as we'd usually define uh, expected value. Uh, so we sum over every possible value, but this time we only sum over the possible values that are in this uh, this new subset that we are considering. So we're not interested in the possible values over here. So we just sum over. Well, uh, sorry, uh, we're not. This is not a discrete random variable. So we're going to have to integrate. We integrate uh, over all the values in here, which is s to infinity of um, what we want to do is uh, we want uh, that value of x and we want now, we don't want the um, the old probability uh, density function, we want the conditioned probability uh, density function. So we want, um, what we want to do is we want to get a new probability density function on this, uh, on this uh, set, which is the conditioned version of uh, the probability density function. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to go from CDFs initially. So I will just put for now uh, some new, let's say f bar of x dx. Okay, 
Uh, so uh, we're going to have to work out what this new probability density function is. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to look at the CDF. We know that, um, in fact, actually, we'll look at the survival function, which we saw in the previous video. We know that the probability that x is greater than or equal to some little x is equal to e to the negative lambda of x. So that was what we called the survival function. Uh, so uh, we know the probability of all of these events in here. Uh, so basically, what we can do is... Um, we can condition this. We can say, what is the probability that x is greater than or equal to some little x given that x is greater than or equal to s? So we're only interested in the x in here now. And what we will do is we will uh, get e to the negative uh, lambda of x divided by e to the negative lambda of s. So this is the uh, probability that... Um, uh, if we go back to the original definition of conditional probability, this should be equal to the probability that x is greater than or equal to x and x is greater than or equal to s. But we are, are assuming that x is in here, which means that x is greater than or equal to s. Uh, so the intersection of these two is actually just uh, the event that x is greater than or equal to s. And then we have to divide through by the probability that x is greater than or equal to s. So that is going to create this thing here. And now if we uh, just... Um, uh, use the exponential property of exponentials. This comes out to be e to the negative lambda. We'll have x, and then we'll have minus s there. Is that correct? Yes. If we had a minus minus, that would make a plus. We've got a minus minus that will make a plus. Okay. Uh, so uh, there is our. Um, there is the. Uh, this is the survival function for the conditioned. Uh, probability, and we see that it's the survival function for an exponential distribution uh, with PDF, uh, with PDF um, 